Welcome back, KMS. Here we are in our episode 14 of the KMS Show. My name is Madison Rubiak. Today is Monday, February 8th, and we will continue celebrating Black History Month. My name is Paul Evans. Another important historical figure to celebrate Black History Month is Rosa Parks. She was an American activist in the Civil Rights Movement, best known for her pivotal role in the Montgomery bus boycott. The United States Congress has called her the First Lady of Civil Rights and the Mother of the Freedom Movement. Here is a short video to show the big impact and contribution of Rosa Parks to the African American community. One December day in 1955, Rosa Parks climbed aboard a city bus. At that time, the first four rows of all the buses in Montgomery were reserved for white people. African Americans like Rosa had to sit in the colored section, which was usually in the back of the bus. Like everyone else, Rosa usually followed these rules, but on that day, she had had enough. The driver said that if I refused to leave the seat, he would have to call the police, and I told him, just call the police, which he did, and when they, they came, they placed me under arrest. I had decided that I would have to know once and for all what rights I had as a human being and a citizen. Rosa Parks' act of bravery made others aware of the unfair treatment of African Americans and helped to get these unfair laws changed. Years later, Rosa Parks was awarded the Medal of Freedom. When she died in October 2005, Rosa's casket was placed in the U.S. Capitol for two days so that people could pay their respects to her. Rosa became the first woman to receive this honor. Because of Rosa Parks and others who followed in her footsteps, African Americans have more freedom and opportunity in our country today than ever before. Parks' acts of defiance and Montgomery bus boycott became important symbols of the movement and she became an international icon for the res resistance of racial segregation. This is KMS celebrating Black History Month. Next week, we will have another special report to share with all of you. Now let's move on. Time flies, and you should know that this week is our chance to make sure your grades are good enough for progress reports. That's right, progress reports are going home soon, and they're ready for that, and I hope everybody is too. I'm ready too. I finished all my work during class last week and had some fun family time this weekend. How was your weekend? My weekend was really nice. I got to go shopping. That sounds like fun, but also sounds like one of our topics for today. You're right. Our reporter, Savannah, asked some students what their favorite store is. So let's get into the video. Hi, I'm Savannah, and today I'm going to be interviewing students on what their favorite store is to shop at and why. Hi, Erin. What's your favorite store to shop at? Dollar Tree. And why? Because that's everything you could possibly ask for in a dollar. Hi, Lissa. What's your favorite store to shop at? Target. And why? Because it has everything. Uh, hi, Samaya. What's your favorite store to shop at? Probably Big Lots because it has a lot of discontinued items and foods. Hi, Ella. What's your favorite store to shop at? Target. And why? Because they have the best food. Hi, Madison. What's your favorite store to shop at? Probably Hollister. And why? Because they have a lot of cute clothes. Yeah. Hi Leah, what's your favorite store to shop at? Um, five and five and below. And why do you like shopping there? Cause it's cheap. Hayden. Hi Hayden, what's your favorite store to shop at? Fye. And why do you like shopping there? Uh, it's got a lot of different kinds of variety of stuff like Funko Pops and some stuff from Japan like soda and some hockey's. Hi Ivy, what's your favorite store to shop at? Probably the Foot Locker. And why do you like shopping there? Cause I get a lot of great shoes. Hi Milani, what's your favorite store to shop at? New Square. And why do you like shopping there? Because it has a lot of graphic tees that I could like. Thank you for watching! That was really cool, but don't forget that to go shopping you need to wear a mask. And you can take advantage of so many types of masks. True, what's your favorite type of mask? Probably a colorful and reusable mask. It sounds very special. What kind of mask do you think students like the most? Let's find out what they said to McCray. Hello KMS, I'm going to go around asking people what is their favorite type of mask, reusable or disposable? Reusable. Why? It's just easier to keep track of them and you can wash them and it's just easier overall. So what is your favorite type of mask, reusable or disposable? Reusable. Why? Because it feels better than disposable. Reusable. Why? 
because you can use it multiple times and they're just more comfortable. What mask do you like better, reusable or disposable? Um, reusable. Why? Because it's easier, so you don't um, use it the same day, like over and over again. Reusable because they're stylish and comfortable. What is your favorite type of mask, reusable or disposable? Reusable. Why? Because they're more comfortable and there's more designs for them. You, reusable. Why? Because you can wear it more than once and it's just... It's just comfortable, personally. And what is your favorite time of mask? Reusable or disposable? Disposable, because they, because they're easier to breathe through. Reusable. Why? Because they're probably the easiest to like breathe in. And Thanks for watching KMS. Bye. Well, we also have to wear a mask all the time here at school. Yeah, and it's not very fun though. I would agree. It gets hot, but we know it's for our safety. True that, but there are some nice things about school too. What's your favorite thing about middle school? Definitely hanging out with my friends. That's one of my favorites too. Let's see what some other students have to tell Aubrey about it. Hi, I'm here with... Isabella. Hi, Isabella. What's your favorite thing about middle school? Having multiple classes. And why is that your favorite? Because you get to socialize with more people. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with... Ashlyn. Hi, Ashlyn. What's your favorite thing about middle school? Sports. And why is that your favorite? Because you get to try new sports that you haven't got to do, like basketball, softball, and soccer, and stuff like that. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with... Anaya. Hi, Anaya. What's your favorite thing about middle school? The drama. And why is that your favorite? Because it's very entertaining. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with... Isabella. Hi, Isabella. What's your favorite thing about middle school? Meeting new people. And why is that your favorite? Because I can make more friends. Thank you. I'm here with Colin. Hi Colin, what's your favorite thing about middle school? Physical education. And why is that your favorite? Because I like physical education. Thank you. Hi Coach Rodriguez, what's your favorite thing about teaching middle school? Um, I think being, in a, being able to talk to you guys um, about your lives and kind of figuring out the way y'all think. It's very interesting to me. And would you ever teach another grade level? Uh, yeah, I would. I'd probably do high school. I think high school would be interesting. Thank you. Wow, so many things. One of my favorite things about middle school is our teachers. Me too, they work so hard so that we can learn. One of our teachers did outstanding work and is our teacher of the week. Who? It's Coach Prince. Yay, congratulations Coach Prince, she's a wonderful teacher. Let's know more about her in the interview with Emma. Welcome back Kernan, my name is Emma and I'm here with our teacher of the week. Coach Prince. <laughs> so Coach Prince, where did you attend college? Uh, Jacksonville University for my undergraduate and my graduate I went to Concordia University. And what is your job here at Kernan? I am a PE and health coach for sixth grade. And what does that include? Sixth grade, health and PE. <laughs> if you had anything that you could change about Kernan, what would you change? Uh, coronavirus, I'd like to go back to normal. <laughs> and what is your favorite part about being a coach? I get to watch my kids grow. So when you guys come in as sixth graders, um, you're just these young little immature things and I get to see you guys mature and they're just amazing eighth graders. And it's fun to see that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this Teacher of the Week. Okay, it's time to talk about sports. Did you hear about the game last week? I did. The girls' basketball team beat Landon 38-18. Unfortunately, the boys' basketball team lost. The girls' soccer team lost their first game 3-4 against Mainport, but they won the second game 7-0 facing Lakeshore. The boys' soccer team won their first game 8-0 versus Lakeshore, and the same score to beat Fort Caroline. Great job, guys! This week, the girls' soccer team has a home game today against Fort Caroline, a home game Wednesday against Landmark, and an away game against Fletcher on Thursday at 3 o'clock. The boys' soccer team has a away game against Landmark tomorrow and an away game against Fletcher on Thursday at 4.30. By all means, girls and boys will travel together on Thursday for their games against Fletcher. That sounds fun. Talking about basketball, the boys and girls basketball team have some games this week on Tuesday and Thursday against Arlington and Landmark. Good luck to all our teams. Well, we're talking about sports. Let's talk about our cheer team. Our cheer team looks so good while cheering for our basketball players. They do. They keep us. They keep, keep up the good work, girls. Let's see what the cheer squad have to say in this video made by Sevji. I'm Sevgi and I'm here with Ania. What's it like being on the cheer team? It's fun. What did you do to prepare for tryouts? Stretch. Do you have a favorite chant? Yeah, it's be aggressive. Um, good. I mean, all the girls are nice. 
What, is, what did you do to prepare for trials? Uh, I just practiced the dance a lot and like worked on my arms and stuff. Uh, what's your? Do you have a p favorite chant? Uh, not really. I like all of them. It is fun. What did you do to prepare for trials? I had to stretch and break my back. Do you have a favorite chant? I have two. What is it? Uh, shoot that ball and take it to the limit. I forget what it's called. I think it's take it to the limit. It's really fun. The coaches are all really nice. What did you do to prepare for trials? I practiced the dance a lot at home when I got home from school. Do you have a favorite chant? No. It's fun and it's like we're all family. <laughs> what did you do to prepare for trials? Well, I mem like practiced the dances because there was a video and the chants. Do you have a favorite chant? Um, yeah. I do. It's called We Got the Spirit. It's very exciting and really good. What did you do to prepare for trials? I really practiced. Um, my sister actually helped me with that. Do you have a favorite champ? No, I do not. I like all of them. Fine. What did you do to prepare for trials? I watched the video over and over again. Do you have a favorite champ? No. That was all for sports this week. But not all the videos we have for today. Right, we still have something really cool. It was a good idea my, my group had to ask students around KMS. Is that the video you made asking people about video games? Well, not exactly about video games, but it's about living in video games. That sounds cool. Let's see it. Hello, I'm Paul, and today I'm asking around KMS if they could live in any video game, which you're only living in and why. Alright, today I'm here with... Carly. So Carly, if you could live in any video game, which you're only living in and why. Mario Kart, because you could, like, design your car and you can drive around in it all day. Okay, thank you. Alright, today I'm here with... Kaylin. So Kaylin, if you could live in any video game, which you're only living in and why. Forza because I like racing cars and like it's fun and I like beating people. <laughs> okay, thank you. Alright, today I'm here with Isabella. So Isabella, if you could live in any video game, which which video you live in and why? Mario Kart because I really think it'd be fun driving around the cars all day. Okay, thank you. Alright, today I'm here with Salvador. So Salvador, if you could live in any video game, which video would you live in? Uh, I would live in 2K so that I would be able to be. Uh, I'd be able to play in the NBA and then go to the park and then play with my friends. So it's, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, that's all for this week. But before we say goodbye, we have great news to share with all of you. You're right, I almost forgot about it. We are getting ready with more news crews in the KMS show. Our KMS show family has grown and you will see soon new stories from our brand new 6th grade class. Welcome partners. We hope you enjoyed this new edition of the KMS show. We'll be working every week to keep you informed and entertained. And remember, if you have your YouTube channel, don't forget to go to KMS TV Productions and like and subscribe. You can also follow us on Instagram. We are as at Mr. Dolet Class KMS. And the same user for our TikTok account. Join us and have some fun. Don't forget to be kind to every person, every classroom, and every day. See, See you next time. time.